All right, this is number seven, assignment 6-2, page 321. We're going to use u substitution to find the integral. Um, the expression that's in the parentheses is going to be my u. So we're going to start off by writing down u equals 1 minus the cosine of t over 2. And we're going to find du by doing the derivative of u. Derivative of 1 would be 0 minus, what's the derivative of cosine? Sine. Now, hold on a second here. Now we've got to think backwards here. When you do <coughs> derivatives, if the original problem starts with a c, you put a negative on the answer. So what's the derivative of cosine? Negative, negative sine. So we have to realize that because cosine starts with a c and we're doing a derivative, the derivative is going to be negative sine. Then you're going to copy down the t over 2. This is the chain rule now. T, not a plus on the top. Write that a little better. Times, then you have to do the derivative of t over 2. By the chain rule, you have to link that on. Now, don't make this too hard because t over 2 is the same as 1 half t. So, what's the derivative of 1 half t? I think 1 half and then dt. 1 half dt. So, my du ends up being a negative of a negative, so it's going to be positive sine of t over 2 times 1 half dt. That's what I need to get right there. I need to get my du right there. So what number do I have to put in here that I don't have right now? I need a half. So there's a half in my du. I don't see a half here. If I put a half in here, what number do I have to put up front? Two, if it's reciprocal. So now I can make my substitution For this entire expression here, I'm going to change that to du. I guess I don't need parentheses to change that to du here. So this whole thing here is equal to du. What am I going to substitute in for 1 minus the cosine of t hat? That's what u equals. Yeah, u equals 1 minus the cosine of t hat. So we could just call that u squared, couldn't we? So this got substituted in there. Okay. So now we're ready to do the integral. Doesn't the, doesn't the expression in red look a whole lot simpler than what we had in black? And that's the idea, is to make the expression simpler before you actually do the antiderivative. So you don't have to try to do the antiderivative on some really complicated expression. So now this isn't hard, because I'm going to make this exponent 1 bigger, so it's going to be u to the 3 halves, or excuse me, u to the cube. And what number is going to go up front? Um, <coughs> 2 divided by 3, so 2 thirds plus c. So there's my integral, calculated, or it's my answer to my integral, I should say. Now, all we have to do now is substitute back in our t expression in place of u. So my final answer is going to be this. Two-thirds, instead of u, we're going to substitute in 1 minus the cosine t halves, and that's to the third power, plus c. Any questions about that?